at least 15 people, including two members of parliament and a deputy mayor, were killed Friday when militants attacked a hotel frequented by government officials in the heart of Somalia's capital, police said. The bloodshed began when a car packed with explosives blew up near the main gate of the high-profile Central Hotel, which is a few miles from Somalia's presidential palace, Mogadishu Police Captain Hassan Abdi told CNN. The explosion was followed by heavy gunfire between the attackers and hotel guards, witnesses said. Then came a second blast, the suicide bombing carried out by a woman near the mosque inside the hotel, as other attackers shot their way in, Abdi said. I saw several people burned by the flames of the explosion flying on the blood-filled ground inside the hotel, said Mustaf Mohammed, who runs a small shop nearby. Government ministers, members of parliament, army officers and other officials often go to the central hotel. Deputy Prime Minister Mohammed Omar Hart was among those inside at the time of the attack, having just attended traditional Friday prayers there. He suffered minor injuries but survived, according to state media, as did Transportation Minister Arli Jama Jangli. But other prominent politicians did not make it. They include Parliament members Haji Gaif and Artley Omer, as well as Mohammed Aden Brob, Mogadishu's deputy mayor, Abdi said. In addition to the dead, 20 others were wounded in the attack. Al Shabaab, an Islamist extremist group blamed for terrorist acts in Somalia and beyond over the years, claimed responsibility. Sheikh Abdi Aziz Abu Musa, a spokesman, said on militant run Angelou's radio. Villa Somalia, the East African country's equivalent of the U.S. White House, sharply condemned what it called today's outrage.